Okay, so welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the TronSmart T7 Lite. Uh, this is very kindly sent to me by the people at TronSmart um, to, um, you know, have an honest review of. Um, obviously, this is video is going to be going out very close to Christmas, so probably not going to have a chance to pick this up, um, which is a shame because my view on this is actually overly positive. Um, I haven't been paid, despite what some people keep trying to say on these videos. Um, I haven't been paid to um, to change my opinion. I've been sent the product, um, sent no money, and this is just for me to do an honest review on. Um, so let's start off with some specifications. Um, this thing has two full range drivers shooting out the front, three passive radiators, so you can tell they go in heavy on base, one on either side and one kind of upward firing at the top. Um, it has a 24 hour playtime, uh, would be a 50% volume. Um, IPX7 waterproof, uh, which is very solid, obviously, basically you don't have to worry about it out in the rain. Um, it doesn't state anything about drop proof or anything like that, but it feels like quite a sturdy build, so I wouldn't worry about that too much either. Um, stereo pairing, if you've got two of them. Um, I haven't tested that out as I've only got one, but um, it does state stereo pairing. Um, app control, which I'll show you a little bit later, and Bluetooth 5.3, which is all very good specs actually um especially for a piece of speaker of this size um so i would like to play the guess the price range but obviously that's slightly different on a uh, video um so i'm going to go ahead and tell you it effectively can range between 25 and 30 great british pounds here in the uk um it's 33 dollars on transmart's website so obviously it kind of depends um you know what time you're buying it um delivery prices and things like that but realistically 25 to 35 pound is what you're going to have to fork out for this which is incredible really considering the spec sheet on this um it's got some actually quite nice looking lights on either side um which do sync to the music as well um it's got like a nice design around here the lights can like come out the bottom of these um you've obviously got bluetooth just some standard multimedia controls on the back and tron smart sound pulse i believe it's called um which is a, a button for it there. And then you've got our waterproof port with a micro SD slot and a type C charger, which is nice. Again, for this money, it's, it's a really impressive spec sheet. And this feels like the same material realistically as like the JBL Flip or the Huawei Joy, um, the uh, Acoustic Solutions, um, any of those speakers. Um, and this is so much cheaper than all of them. Um, so yeah, ironically, this is video is going out a bit late, but this would be a great Christmas present. Um, obviously on the box here, you've got some standard specs. Yeah, it's called Sound Pulse Audio, that button. Um, but yeah, realistically, I've just read them all out anyway. Um, but yeah, crazy. I mean, for that money, you know, before we've even done the sound test, you already can't go wrong. Um, I'll take you a little bit through the app. Obviously, as you would expect for the money, <laughs> um, the app's realistically got nothing on it. It's got like a little JPEG of the speaker sitting in the middle, it tells you the battery percentage, can tell you the volume and some very basic multimedia playback. Um, that's my bad. Um, we've got some pr music presets equalizer, so it's on sound pulse at the moment, but you can customize um, and just kind of choose your own with this um, equalizer here. So. I mean, yeah, a very basic app, but I guess all you really need. Um, and then over here, you can change between the play modes, um, whether it's stereo or not. And there's a couple options for the LED lights. Um, they really don't look any different, though, if I'm being honest. Um, so I'm going to leave it on the standard deep breath one. Um, and then, yeah, that's I mean, that's, that's literally the app. Um, three options at the bottom, gone through all of them. So, yeah, obviously very basic, but... You know, like I said, what do you expect? Um, and for this money, I mean, you know, most speakers of this of this price in this kind of market don't even come with an app of any sort. So, um, you know, you're already winning there. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a um, a quick sound test here. Um, Eighty percent volume. Uh, we're going to be playing everything by Diamond Dies. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down all around. This empty town was searching for the lost and found But you don't care, yeah I'm aware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like 
Okay, so that's sound test over. Um, the bass is actually surprisingly strong on this thing. I don't know if you heard it kind of vibrating the surface of this desk, um, which is why I've kind of tried to stand it up there, but then the bassy part of the music stopped. Um, but either way, um, obviously that's just kind of to give you a slight idea. I'm fully aware it's not going to sound, um, you know, it's not an overly great comparison when playing it through through YouTube, but um, that's not really the point. Um, my opinion is for this money, I'm really not aware of anything better, to be honest. Um, you know, those those skull candy ones I did recently when I think the, the cheapest one was 35, um, but that didn't have lights, um, and it wasn't as bassy, and it was a bit like recycled plastic kind of material. Um, obviously not a bad speaker, but considering you can pick this up for £25, um, it, it, it's in one of those, it's in the market where you know, there's a lot of things in this space, but there aren't any that you'd actually want to own. Um, and this is one of the ones that you quite happily could own. Um, it's not overly loud, obviously. Um, it's yeah, They don't state an actual wattage of this thing, but I can't imagine it's very much at all. Um, it, but it would be fine, you know, in a room like this with three or four or five people, you know, and you just kind of wanted some background music or even, you know, if you were quiet, you could turn it all the way up and it, you know... I don't think anyone would actually be complaining that much. And considering how much this thing costs and considering how much, you know, the equivalent JBL or Huawei or, I mean, literally any other brand you can name would cost. It's it's mental that I haven't seen more of these around, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, um, Tronsmart really has done some good speakers this year. I think I had one of them as a runner up or maybe even one of them was in there for the... Um, best speakers of 2023 in that video um if you haven't seen that go check it out the one posted just before this um but yeah they've done some really great speakers this year um obviously really great for the money um and it's nice to see this space being occupied by something that you'd actually want to put in your room not just landfill so um yeah that's great uh let me know if you've got one of these if you've got a different opinion on it if you think there's anything better for the money um anything you want pop it down in the comments i'll get back to you um, if not, have a good Christmas.